the Matador 672. This is the latest addition to my collection of the roll gear style ratcheting bit holders. These roll gear style handles are so nice. You, they just can't be beat for low back drag. Matador isn't quite as free spinning as the Inbus and the hot set are, but it's very good. I do not know where it is made. If anybody does know where this specific tool is made, I would like to know. I like this Matador tool. I like this handle. The direction selector has a nice bulk to it. It's bulky, but you kind of want it to be. The selector does have a little bit of a cheapy, plasticky feel to it, but the rest of it feels very solid. The receiver into the handle doesn't have any wobble. It's rock solid. This tool is sold in a set that has blades. So there's a long tube in here that goes 110 millimeters from the end of the receiver. Besides the super smooth roll gear style ratchet, the other really interesting distinguishing feature is that they put a locking BB in every corner on the hex. Every corner on the hex has a locking BB. I've never seen that on any other quarter hex receiver. Because this is made for blades, bits fall into it. Okay, because it's 110 millimeter deep. If it's a small bit, you could have a hard time getting that out. Ideally, the bits used in this need to have some kind of a stop. The ways that I thought of to address potentially losing a bit inside of this was that I found some of these springs in a spring assortment that I had. And if I put three of these springs in there, then a smaller C6 style notched bit will fit in here and lock and you don't have to worry about losing the bit inside of this longer tube. This is the smallest bit that I would say you could put in here and I wouldn't even recommend putting a small bit in here like this. Bits like this won't lock, okay? Push all the way down, they don't lock because there's no C6 machining this idea of using springs in here is goofy. I admit it. I just tried it out and I thought I would show that. So let's show some better solutions. One better solution is a longer adapter. This happens to be a Japanese adapter. Definitely you're not going to lose that in there. Those locking BBs are a little sloppy on a full size E6 detent and they're really better on a C6 style notched bit, you know, and then we could go with the Japanese double-ended or the Japanese 13 millimeter anvil with this adapter. Uh, this is a Philo blade style, and because it's not notched on the corners, it doesn't actually lock into those six locking BBs in all the corners on the Matador Chuck. I had really high hopes that these Festool bits would lock in here. They have a built-in stop so that they won't go all the way into the Matador. I can feel those locking BBs catching those detents and the dimensions would have been perfect, but because Festool flats the corners of the hex, this just slides right out. What a bummer. I had really high hopes that this was going to be some amazing find to use for Centrotec bits. Didn't happen. This is a Centrotec bit by Snappy Tools. It doesn't lock in here either. There's a little bit of friction, but not much. The C6 bits, like the C6L from PB Swiss, they lock in here. They lock into this Matador very nicely. And then this is the bit wobble. I don't know why sometimes removing bits on this, it gets, it gets hung up. So what about Japanese double-ended bits? The receiver is deep enough, but the detent is sloppy and the spring isn't quite long enough to take out the play. 
You know, this bit, for example, could go all the way in there and be very difficult to get out of there. Don't want to use bits like that. Okay, so as you can imagine, a wrap adapter fits, but it's sloppy. The dimensions on this Milwaukee magnetic adapter are such that the locking BBs catch right here, just under this red line. So this adapter actually isn't too bad. There's a little bit of sloppiness there. This is the extension that came with my HOTS at 810. This extension is really good. It has the C6 notches, catches and locks in this position. I can't push that in, so it locks quite well. And then I can, we can go like this to shorten it up. And there's just very little play in there at all. And then we have a means to hold these smaller insert bits. Uh, just to show you a Japanese bit, yeah, it goes in there, but it's sloppy, so it's really not, that's not anything compelling at all. The same goes for a double-ended bit. Yes, it fits in there, but it's very sloppy. It's not something you would want to do without an adapter. So another option for an adapter is this shorter Annex 100, and here's the wobble. It's, it's a fair amount. So that is a look at the Matador 672 smooth ratchet bit holder. Typically this is sold in a set with double-ended blades. I'll give you all those affiliate links so you can check it out. Thank you for watching.